Um, the other part, portion of it is that, uh, as I was saying, and now I can't even respond, um, is that if you put in um, uh, too many words for me to respond to, I cannot, I cannot actually explain to you how difficult it is for the brain to react to every single keyword as an electrical impulse. And um, as far as the Broca's and Wernicke's area, I, I think that the uh, part of the brain which is responsible for language is probably stimulated a lot more so than other parts of the brain, which is probably causing a... Uh, reaction to um what is it called uh comprehension and speech in the brain do not have a large area for it so technically the machine itself is triggering that part of the brain a lot more than other parts especially if you have to focus on your memory which is also going to be used for the language and speech comprehension so um, that is actually going to be very difficult. Um, I uh, can only imagine that it's even more difficult if your brain is working overtime for each single keyword to be processed in the brain in a non-organic way. So it's not natural what's happening with a machine. You're actually putting in an impulse into the brain. Um, one of the other problems is, uh, I noticed that there's probably more, um, agitation because I noticed my temples have been throbbing, um, and it's actually causing me to be consistently anxious. And as far as reminders go, yes, every single thing you put in there is probably a word that you're going to associate or connect with a feeling. So if you're putting in words that might trigger a bad memory or may make you remember a bad memory, then you're probably putting in more of a keyword that can cause the patient or the subject to have a bad feeling. Because as long as you associate or connect the word to a bad memory, then you're going to respond as a patient or see a response in the patient with a bad memory so seeing that that would also be a problem um yeah okay plus you also have to remember that you cannot respond to every single piece of the um experience for the patient as in you can't respond to every single piece of the patient's environment. So with the visual memory, if you're asking the patient to also process a visual memory or react to a visual memory with a machine, the patient is reacting to um, the visual memory as well as an experience that is synthesized in the brain using a non-organic means. So you're using a uh, machine basically to produce a response in a brain and somehow possibly assuming that the brain itself is going to react to it as if it's a chemical. Do you, uh, Chemical compounds are actually uh, synth uh, processed in the brain very differently. Um, so that within itself is going to produce a problem. Um,